Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're uh, we're actually outside. Um, I got a brand new axe for Christmas this year, and I thought this would be a really cool opportunity to uh, to try it out. So come along with me as we uh, we do some fun stuff with this new axe. I'm also going to do a little bit of uh, tarp setup and things like that, just for just for fun and to practice, and make sure I uh, keep doing it wrong. So uh, stick with us. Hope you enjoy it. It's a lovely little spot that he uh, occasionally likes to come to to do a little bit of camping. We've got a lovely little river down there. Um, it's the River Mole, I believe. There she is. Beautiful day, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, yeah, so this is where I like to come sometimes just to, uh, to do a little bit of camping. Um, just really, really uh, quick overnight stuff, nothing, nothing overly drastic. Um, up there, on the top of the hill, just up here. That's where I'm going to be just mucking about today. Uh, as I said, I'm just going to try a um, little tarp set up just for, just for some fun, practice how to do it, maybe start a little fire. And as I say, the main reason is to, uh, to practice with this uh, new axe that I've got. So uh, let's get set up. So, um, just to run you through the stuff that I've actually got with me, um, I'll open this up and I'll, and I'll show you. This bag is uh, <laughs> way oversized to uh, what I need, but at the moment it's the only one I've got. So, as I said, today we're going to be doing a little bit of tarp setup. So, I've got my 3x3 DD tarp. Um, absolutely brilliant tarp, I really, really like it. Uh, really easy to set up. It's got all of these different um, little uh, hooks and stuff, so it, uh, so it makes my life a lot easier. It's in Coyote Brown, if anybody's interested. Very, very cool. Got a camping chair just to sit on while we uh, have a chat. Got some pegs and some uh, paracord in there. As I said, we're going to be starting a fire, so we've got my folding axe, if uh, folding saw, sorry, if I need that. My little tinder box with some stuff in there. A pair of gloves. My Mora Bushcraft black. Ray Mears fire steel, and most importantly, the PAs, the resistance. My brand new, lovely Ray Mears Bushcraft Forest Axe. Can't wait to have a go with this, so, uh, so let's get cracking. First thing I'm doing, I'm gonna set the tarp up, so, uh, so let's do that. So this is my DD hammock, really easy to hammock. DD tarp, really, really easy to use. Taking this on a couple of trips now, it works really well. Let's get this bad boy set up. I'll put that in my bag so I don't lose it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up between this tree here, I think, and, uh, and this tree here. That should be should be just now, just about wide enough. Um, I'm going to use a technique that I've seen on uh, MCQ Bushcraft and um, TA Outdoors, um, using the knots that they use. Um, as I said before, I'm still very much learning. So, uh, so don't judge me. doing this the wrong way. Maybe that's the problem. My memory serves. Maybe it's supposed to go this way around. No. 
Aye, there we go, that's the badger. And then, yeah, twist it once. Over. And that goes under there. Stick, I think, goes in there. No, nope, that doesn't work. Yeah, it's just slightly embarrassing, isn't it? First bloody time, can't even put a top off. That'll do. Now what I'm going to do is peg it down at the back. this one. It's easy when you know how. That's okay. 
that's okay. Through the cunning use of extra power power cord, we can fix that. It says confidently. By no means the tidiest setup I've ever done, cleanest, but whatever. It's not tidy, right here. Love this chair. This chair is so cool. says not knowing which way around it goes. Well this is not right. What is wrong with these pets? Anyone? that this is kind of up really badly um, I would say we have a play with this uh, this axe and get a little fire going I think that would be a good thing to do now, as I said one of the main reasons that we're, uh, we're out today is to try out this brand new axe that I've got so um, I have never used this axe before, so I'm very excited, so we shall see how she goes. Make sure I put that in my pocket, because otherwise I will lose it. I'm being very, very careful. Oh, look at that. Two chops and she's gone. <laughs> Peace. Come here. I'm already in love with this thing. Oh, I love 
love this thing. Don't worry, I'm allowed to chop down things right here. Whatever I want. What I really want is dead standing uh, wood, but there isn't a huge amount of that back, so <coughs> I'm just going to forage off the ground. This stuff should be alright, I think. Whoop, mind the camera! Bloody hell. Whoop! I'm just going to move my fire pit so it's uh, a little bit more on the flat. Still, I'm not going to have a big fire anyway. But uh, just so it's not going to, you no know, sparks are going to interfere with my fire. I've made that mistake before. as everything falls apart. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some um, some wood down here as sort of a base and then we'll uh, see about getting a fire going. As I say, uh, I'm not good at this so do not judge me if I do this badly. So I'm going to chop some of this stuff up to, um, as I say, to make a little fire but I've um, been told that when you're using an axe particularly, so I'm going to try out my new axe to try and split some stuff, that it's good to have a, a big log to um, to balance on, so I'm just going to go and find one. And the tarp is blocking the entire camera. Bloody hell! It's like a fairly hefty piece. So, <clears throat> where am I going? What am I doing? So I do have my little saw in my pocket. So let's. Chop off a bit of this, and then we'll see uh, see how uh, the axe splits. Because I've never been very good at splitting, so to be fair, I reckon a lot of this stuff probably just snap. Should break sticks on your knees, apparently. Ah, now I know why. That hurts. Pop those over there for now. This horrible spiky bit. Are you gonna break? No, no, you're not. Let's have a look. Hold off doing that towards my face as well. But, you know. Right, now here's the big bit. Let's see what we can get off of this.
Wah. Good times. Let's try it that way. All right. Well, um, here comes the fun bit. Let's see. Uh, if I have any idea how to split logs. I say logs, I mean they're nothing bigger than sticks really, but the plan is to split these down, um, make some shavings, and then see if we can get a fire going that way. So, a little bit more room. So the outside of these is a little bit wet, but the inside's still okay. All right. Well, that went well. I'm really, really not very good at this stuff. For now, we will get better. So as a part of it, we'll actually be recognising what wood to use and which ones not to use when you're uh, actually making a fire. Hardwoods and softwoods and birch and pine and all that stuff at the moment is still a little bit of a mystery to me. I think it's me, not the axe. Maybe I'm not finding the natural check in the wood or something like that. Which would make sense. So now what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, make some shavings. I'm just going to pop that under there to try and catch, catch them if I am remotely successful today. idea if I'm using the correct technique. Try angling it a bit more and then it bites in too much. Oh. Yeah, see, really don't know what I'm doing. That's way too thick. Maybe if I'm gentler with it. No. A little bit better. A little bit better. Is that being too aggressive? Maybe the wood's bad, I don't know. This is bad wood for trying to create this stuff. If we try and take it from the edge.
Oh, c'est bon. Oh, bon. As I said to you guys before, like any advice you can give me on how to do any of these techniques and stuff it would be vastly appreciated because as you can see, I am definitely an amateur at this stuff. Losing more than I'm putting in the bloody bag at the moment. That might be alright though. Let's try that. Okay, now, what I'm doing now, or what I've got here, is some cotton wool that I've um, rubbed some Vaseline onto. So apparently it makes uh, kind of a really good wick uh, and burns sort of longer to help you to help the fire catch. Now, as I say, this is maybe a little bit of cheating. That might be cheating a little bit, but uh, and I'm, a, uh, I'm an amateur. So, uh, you know, any advantage that I can get is probably going to prove to be useful at the moment until I learn how to do this stuff properly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to brace my little sticks and stuff on this rock here, I think, to, uh, to try and keep giving it some air. So, attempt number one. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Get this stuff on. Hopefully it will take light. Starting to go. get this smaller stuff on. No one sticking it, as my man Joe Robinette says. Come on, burn baby, burn. Now we're starting from the look of it. So I'm just going to gently, gently, gently feed this and pray it doesn't go out. And also that my camera doesn't set on fire because that would be bad. minutes time. Oh, what a nice day. So I guess the main reason that um, that we're out here today, and I keep saying, I guess the main reason, it's all about practice, you know, I've, I've made a a couple of videos that were inside, just introducing myself and that kind of thing, and well, smoke. And uh, I really wanted to get outside and, and just practice these things. Really, um, I don't get to do this stuff very often, and, and as a beginner, it's important that uh, you know the more you do this stuff, the, the easier it gets. And, and my kind of philosophy on it is: the more mistakes you get, the more mistakes you make, uh, the better. Really, because I think the only way that human beings learn is through making mistakes and doing things differently next time. So. So that's why we're here. I certainly hope that when I buy a house to have views like this and uh, and time available to me to uh, to do this kind of stuff in an area to it's that brilliant. Ideally, it'll be in Ontario in Canada. Um, that's where I feel most comfortable. That's that's where I feel the most me, I suppose. Um, such a brilliant part of the world and it's it's almost synonymous uh, 
uh, with this kind of stuff for me, the bushcrafty stuff, there's so much area, so much land out there that you could explore and, and do. And that's one of my huge ambitions in life, my big ambitions in life, is to do a, a canoeing trip um, through somewhere like Algonquin, through the lakes in Algonquin, or, or woodland caribou bats when I'm a little bit more experienced. <laughs> I also want to go to Sweden. I'd love to go to the boreal forests in uh, in northern Sweden in the Arctic Circle. I think that would be that'd be absolutely incredible. Um, need a few more nights spent in the garden practicing uh, practicing making fire before I go anywhere near that, particularly in the in the winter, which I think. If I was to go anytime soon, I would probably probably end up dead. So much more of this stuff. I am hoping um, to go back to uh, to go back to Dartmoor. Uh, in the very near future, or even back into back into Scotland. Um, hoping a few mates will uh, will come with me. Dave, Irish, looking at you guys. Uh, last time we went, it was so much fun. We uh, we found a random spot in the in the southwest of uh, in Scotland. We're near a, a lock, clattering shore lock, which uh, I didn't realise at the time, but turned out to be one enormous bog. Uh, so camping there was quite difficult. Um, I was quite uh, fortunate in the fact that I brought a hammock, so I was able just to string my uh, I set up up between between two trees off the ground, whereas the boys that I went with weren't so lucky. They ended up sleeping on a on a horrible hump uh, of ground. But you know what? You drink enough whiskey, you don't even notice anyway. Quite pleased with that fight so far. I'm actually getting kind of hungry now. I should have brought some food down to cook in it. That would have made sense, wouldn't it? Idiot. <sighs> Sun looks beautiful behind the camera. Um, just behind the trees and over the fields. So maybe I should. Uh, Maybe I should actually show you that rather than just talking about it. Give me a sec. Put some of these bigger pieces on there. Right? Yeah, that's what I meant. It's absolutely lovely. I feel really blessed to be able to spend time here. Thank you guys for uh, coming along with me on this uh, random little trip down the garden. Um, nothing overly extreme. My next next kind of thing I hope to do a, a proper sort of overnighter. So um, actually putting the hammock up and uh, and cooking on a fire uh, that I make probably probably be here again to be honest. Um, I'll, get, I'll get the top set up uh, a bit better than it is now, and we'll actually uh, we'll spend the night outside and cook some food over the fire. Maybe get a steak and. Um, few beers maybe even uh, maybe even get a nice whiskey and if I can I might uh, invite a friend to come along and do it uh, and camp with me not do it with me that'd be weird invite a mate to come along and, uh, and spend the evening with us so hopefully uh, hopefully that'll happen uh, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens oh, lovely I think my um, my battery is about to die uh, on the camera actually so this will be where I sign off. So, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you learned something, even if uh, <laughs> even if it's uh, how not to do things <laughs> when you're doing this kind of thing. Um, but I really like doing this kind of stuff. So, uh, so I'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.